So we're gonna focus on a number of inspiring end user applications of Java technology. And so the goal is that at the end of today, you will see what your work in the Java ecosystem is bringing to bear and some of the amazing things that people are doing with Java. So I have a quick announcement. Yes. Uh, so uh, Oracle has signed an OEM agreement with the Raspberry Pi Foundation, uh, and they're going to start including, thank you. They're going, they're going to start including out of the box Java SE with all of their noobs and uh, Raspbian images. So when you go and get an image from the Raspberry Pi Foundation, it's going to include Java out of the box. That's cool. At Oracle, our corporate philanthropy is really focused on computer science education, and our corporate philanthropy happens through three channels, through our volunteers program, through corporate giving, and through our flagship Oracle Academy program. And the reason we're focused on computer science, and I think I'm a little bit preaching to the choir in this room, is that we really believe that computer science skills are a fundamental literacy skill today as fundamental to student success in the future as reading. So this is Eclipse with all my source files on it. I... <laughs> he has built this gesture-controlled um, Lego robot. Everything is 100% Java controlled from gathering the sensor data to figuring out what to do to actuating the robot. We use Java technology to build software that reduces demand for energy, specifically electricity and gas. We save about 2% um, energy on average per household that we engage, and we've gotten up to um, a significant amount of households such that we're saving almost three terawatt hours this year. Um, just for a scale, that's more than, that, that's about what Sacramento consumes in a given year. So we're literally taking whole cities off the grid. We make software that in, in, the, in the ground systems uh, that for, uh, provide flight dynamics, and uh, the GGSS, which uses Java, uh, performs a lot of QA for the telemetry of the spacecraft and also produces configuration and maneuver commands. And I said you have some very specific things um, that you're doing with Java. Yeah, so um, we just recently became participant in, in OpenJDK. Um, and you know, most notable for us, um, and I'd like to give a, you know, a little shout to a couple of colleagues of mine, um, Vlad Zakharov and Donald Robb, um, who are colleagues of mine at Goldman Sachs, who are the architects of something called GS Collections. I now work for a, a company that does robotics called Liquid Robotics. And they're not at all like you know, your typical robot. It's the engine that never, that never quits. I've been talking about the Internet of Things for decades, um, you know, all the way back to the 80s, it was like a big deal for me. Actually, in the 70s, it was a big deal for me. Um, Java actually started out as something for embedded things. And doing all this enterprise stuff was sort of an opportunistic accident that sort of happened on the way. On the way. 